This is part 17, mini lathe rebuild, part 17. All right, I, this is the carriage assembly, and I went through all the mods on the uh, various websites, and I've, one I think I kind of like is changing the um, these socket head screws. These are M6 out with the um, with studs, with metric studs. So I have these bolts. I will take and lay the heads off, and then put the studs in here, lock tight them in, uh, and then use the nut the nuts to fine tune and with the locking screws. And uh, so anyway, that's what we're doing today. Okay, this is a, a Harbor Freight Central Machinery. This is my 7x10. Uh, I will be getting rid of this one once I'm finished with the other one. But we're going to use this uh, to take off the heads of these screws. I've got two nuts in there. Hopefully they're locked tight enough and the, the screw won't turn in as I'm... Uh, taking the head off. Um, if I put the threads in the chuck, it's liable to mess the threads up. So I won't show you all six of these, but I'll show you all. Well, I see a problem right at the start. <laughs> all right. Uh, got a little bit out of line there. Let me go ahead and get that fixed, and I'll come back. All right, so <clears throat> no matter how I try to put these in here, I seem to get uh, off center. I don't have a four jaw chuck. So it's a little bit off center, but uh, I can get the head off like this. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how this works out. few more of these to do. Uh, I won't record all of them. And then I'm going to round these over and I'm also going to take them and run them through the die. And I will show you the round over process and I will also show you the, uh, the die process. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause now and do the rest of my bolts and then we'll come back. Okay, we're just going to round over the tip of these studs now. Um, I'm just using a router bit. It's got a high-speed steel blade on it. Uh, I don't have any, any um, cutters. Uh, but I've seen this trick online. It appears to work fine. So I'll do one of these. And then we'll get back uh, to the die, cleaning the threads up.
notice here that I've got this um, right on the threads and I'm trying to go tight enough to hold it uh, but not tight enough to mess up the threads and I'm just doing that because uh, with the nuts it's not staying centered okay I'll just do one more here real quick I'll do the rest off camera and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take these studs now and Loctite or super glue them into the, um, the carriage uh, assembly here. Uh, then I'll go ahead and pull the rails off and then I'll take the, uh, the die in there and make sure that the threads are clean. So I'm putting the, the factory edges down and I'll, the points, the rounded points they will go up. So, go ahead and uh, put some of this in here. Probably going to drip some. Of this. There we go. Super glue, CA adhesive, that kind of thing. There we go. this out. Got another one here. I'm just leaving the rail on so if I don't need to bottom, if uh, these happen to go too low, I'll still have enough threads for the, for the nuts and washers to go on. Okay, that looks good there. Go ahead and pull this off. And now we'll work on the top one. Or the bottom one, or the left one, or the forward one. Whichever one this is, we'll work on this one. thought to get some CA glue, um, I mean some uh, Loctite, but when I was at the store I forgot. I guess I can come back, but I think it's going to work for me. Okay, so I've got my M61 die, Chinese made, Harbor Freight tools. Um, when I rounded these off, it may have boogered the threads a little bit. So I'll just run this up a little bit, make sure the threads are okay. Now I do have nylon bolts for these, so they'll back off, but in this case I'm just using a non-nylon bolt to make sure I can get that on there, and that's good. Um, that one already. Let's check this one. They look, they look pretty good.
last one I know I've got him boogered up. So. May need to remake this one. Not really. Must not have enough super glue on this or something. Because uh, it's spinning on me. Okay, well, we'll pause and I'll get that cleaned up and straightened up. And on this carriage, uh, uh, I got this way. It's got an oil groove. The oil groove actually matches up with the, uh, the grease cups here. Um, there's no groove here for the upper slide, but there is a groove for the flat slide. I just thought I'd point that out while I had this apart. Um, this one's missing a backing nut. I believe that's because it goes down so low. Um, I've loosened these up, and uh, what I'm going to do is just bring these plates down and start the uh, washers and the nuts, and uh, then kind of put it on there and work with the nuts, get rid of all the play, and uh, then I'll pull it off, and then I'll tighten these back, um, try it, see if I got play again, a little bit of back and forth here. Uh, okay, so. I did get that thread a little cleaned up, um, so it is functioning now. And these, uh, the, you can see these are the nylon top nuts, and maybe we'll even grab the threads; so they won't loosen them out. Um, now these will be 10 millimeter, and you can adjust them, and you won't need the. Uh, you won't need the Allen wrench. I'll just grab the 10 millimeter wrench. I won't snug these all the way up until I get it on the bed. And then I'll take the wrench and snug them up and move the carriage by hand left and right. Okay, so I got my wrench. You can head on over to the, uh, the lathe now. All right. I may have these too tight to even go on here at first. Let me just loosen them up a little. Okay, there's a start. I'm just going to start, <coughs> excuse me, tighten these up by hand to start. Okay, and I'll get the back. get if you get these loose is you'll get a click in here whoops <laughs> whoops Okay, that's pretty snug. I'm going to go ahead and tighten the counters up. And I'll just do this real soft to start. And we'll see if we've introduced any play here.
pull this off a little bit. I get these screws here a little better. Okay, uh, after probably 45 minutes of adjusting it, uh, uh, the real trick to get this done is a lot of curse words. So if you scream at it a lot, it will definitely uh, come together. Um, in actuality, uh, you have to take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. Um, come to find out, I mean, this is Chinese are made. Chinese made. They're not perfect. Um, and it is 10 years old. It's been used. The uh, the bed is just uh, it's not perfect, right? It could probably use some adjustment. Over here, the left right slop is can't even feel. You know, maybe a little bit. Uh, the vertical, pretty good, pretty tight. It's real smooth here and loose, but then as you start to bring it up here, it just starts to get a little stiff right there. Um, will probably be right around in here most of the time. Um, I'm thinking that's a wear in. I know there's some other tips and tricks out there. Um, but I'm just going to move on because this is definitely usable. Um, this is way tighter than my Harbor Freight. Anyway, that's it. Uh, we might do a couple more short videos tonight. Nothing serious. Uh, maybe something fun. Uh, but thanks for watching YouTube and look for the next episode.